Welcome to stage one of Build a Spitfire and this issue contains a die cast propeller blades, gears, photo etched brass instrument panel and an aluminium skin section. Okay so before we begin what we need to do is using a fine file is remove any of the casting lines on the propeller blades. This is quite simple just removing any of the small bears. go through all the teeth, get any small casting lines off because these are all going to be moving and you don't want them locking up. Okay. Once we've done that we're going to use some fine emery paper and we're just going to give it a light coat over, get rid of any of the other blemishes. Now depending on how you want these blades to look whether you're going to go for the painted finish or whether you're going to go for the bare metal finish really does depend on how much effort you're going to be putting into these. Um, for this build we're really going to be going for the bare metal finish but what I'll do is I'll spend some more time on this later but as you can see just cleaning the lines up and a bit more work on those okay same as the gear if you wish to but you're not going to see that next we're going to be fitting the gear to the end of the propeller blades and you can use either an epoxy glue or a CA glue I'm using the CA medium I'm just putting a little bit on the end and then putting the gear on pressing down and then leave that to dry. Do that three times once you've done that you'll have all your propeller blades ready as you can see there and then basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting that into the propeller hub along with the gearing to create the operable propeller patch. That's it for this stage carefully store the remaining parts with a numbered bag and see you next time.